The development of small and medium scale businesses is recognized as an important strategy in Sri Lanka's economic growth. However, despite the rhetoric, Sri Lanka has not been able to generate a decisive business community to compete in the global market. The unavailability of tailor-made financial products, limited business knowledge and market awareness, a lack of coordination among the policymakers and industry leaders, the disconnect between technology, innovations and enterprises have been identified as some of the barriers for the development of the SME sector. Sanasa is a cooperative financial services network in Sri Lanka with a 1 million membership affiliated to approximately 8,000 thrift and credit cooperative societies that are linked to a national commercial brand. As a grassroots institution, Sanasa has been a critical player in the development journey of the country over four decades and Sanasa is recognized as a resilient development symbol embraced by all ethnic groups. Through its innovative and comprehensive approaches and smart partnerships, Sanasa has been able to penetrate into the most isolated parts of the country and to communities who are least supported by the market and financial services. In addition to providing retail banking services to unbanked communities through cooperative mechanisms in Sri Lanka, Sanasa has always played the leading role in reducing rural poverty by improving local productivity and promoting micro-enterprises. However, our 40 years of experience has taught us that provision of financial services in a segmented manner would not ensure the sustainability of micro and SME enterprises unless they are linked with the market through value chains. Being a cooperative financial model, Sanasa believes that a thriving medium-scale business community rather than a few leading businesses will ensure a modest distribution of the economy, more resilient as a country and will create less damage to the ecology. Sanasa therefore intends to be more involved actively to support the local business development and business sustainability through value chain development and value chain financing. To reach this goal, Sanasa decided to establish an entrepreneur financial center in Sri Lanka. Development International Desjardins, or DID, a long-standing partner of Sanasa movement, decided to support this local initiative at the invitation of Sanasa International. The Government of Canada, which has been a close witness of the development journey of both the Desjardins movement and the Sanasa movement, agreed to strengthen this partnership with funding assistance. For the past 45 years, DID has been working to share the experience of Desjardins Group, which is the largest financial cooperative group in Canada. And with the objective of making financial services accessible, diverse, safe, and responsive to the needs of all the stakeholders within the value chain, DID promotes the establishment of financial centers for entrepreneurs as a leverage to enabling them to reach their full potential and then be the key actors in the economic development of their communities. Cooperatives are created by people for people having both consumers and producers as their members responding to consumer needs through a value chain approach is not only an effective tool but also a true cooperative style of service provision. The EFEC project plans to build strong and tight relationships between stakeholders of four selected value chains enabling them to have access to adapted services at each step of the chain and develop their capacity to meet the final consumer requirements. And the project will streamline and harmonize the efforts made by different entities of Sanasa to promote local businesses and enable Sanasa to build smart partnerships with industry players and regulators to contribute more effectively to build the local economy. There are many state and private sector agencies to provide technical, technological and business services to the SME sector. However, these services are not adequately known by individual entrepreneurs and they have limited channels to approach the SME sector. Sanasa has already partnered with some of these service providers to improve their clients 
and the project will capitalize on these and strengthen the relationships further to widen the business development services horizontally and vertically. Access to finance is another barrier. Sri Lanka's banking industry is skewed towards collateral-backed consumer financing or poverty alleviation-oriented microfinance. Expertise on project financing and trade financing is not common across the industry, limiting the flexibility of the financial sector towards business needs of the small and medium-scale entrepreneurs. There is a definite need for the industry to properly understand the needs of the SME sector and to create a package of products to support these. Agricultural financing is also a challenge that has to be taken up. The productivity of an agricultural system depends on a balance between several components including access to finance, risk management, marketing and production techniques. The initiative of SANASA will support the efforts of farmers and all stakeholders in agricultural value chains to increase their incomes and contribute to food security in their regions by facilitating access to financial services tailored to their needs.